Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here. Hope all is well. Thanks for tuning into this video blog. In this video, I want to discuss the, the topic of whether or not when you're designing and building a website, whether or not you should use WordPress as your main framework. Meaning, should you design and build all your websites on WordPress? Now, this is an interesting topic because um, I love WordPress and I try to install WordPress a WordPress blog on all my websites but um, the question would be why not just design all your websites on WordPress to begin with um, because I have a, actually have a friend who lives and swears by WordPress and says that there's really no reason not to design you know your website on a WordPress blog each and every time you design a website now for me personally I like to look at WordPress as a different thing. I like to just stick with simple, basic, static websites, meaning websites built in HTML and CSS, and look at WordPress as a blogging platform. So when I design a website, let's say I'm designing a website for um, just anyone. Someone approached me and asked me to design a website for their small business. I'm going to look at each of their pages that I'm designing uh, as, as an individual custom page and not think about me trying to design a word around a WordPress um, a framework um, and uh, so that that gives me more freedom more control to kind of design however I feel fit and I like to keep it static simple simple without any CMS or, or WordPress installed now I always approach you know the 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 customer or the the person I'm designing the website for and ask them if they're going to be blogging because having a WordPress blog on your site will help you improve um, SEO rankings and and create dynamic content on your website so I always want to have a blog on that website now if that person or wants a blog then what I'll do is I'll install WordPress in a directory called blog and then I'll link to it okay and um, so if you designed a website let's say a five page website and you installed um, blog or WordPress on a blog uh, directory uh, and you link to it what you'll notice is that the blog the WordPress blog is different is a different design than probably your design that's because the default theme for WordPress is whatever you get from WordPress and uh, so in that case what I like to do is design my design my WordPress blog to be identical to the static website that that I create so I like to look at it as two different things um, when someone approached me you know I don't think WordPress first and foremost I think static simple website okay I like to keep things simple um, don't even want one to, to worry about how to design my site around WordPress at this point I just like to look at look at the services and the products that this uh, small business is, um, you know, has, and then build my build the, their site around that, and not think about the WordPress framework. But I do like to add the blog to their site um, in a different directory and link to it, and design the blog that's consistent with the site, so that it's seamless, um, so that the blog can give them give that person or give that website um, better SEO rankings and dynamic content and things like that now if uh, most of the people that I design websites for they don't really need a content management system um, uh, a lot of people think that uh, you really need content management systems a lot of these small businesses they don't really understand that um, having a website is a lot of work and most of the time they don't even update their website so if they did need a content management system um, you know I like to try to look at other other um, other solutions like um, there's a solution called Perch CMS. Go look up, look that up. Um, I think it's GoPerch.com. And um, also, if companies needed maintenance, you know, I like to to keep in touch with them and then you know offer them a maintenance package and and uh, charge them that way because most of the time they're getting they're updating their sites. You know, maybe three or four months down the road, and they don't really update it every day, so they don't really need a, a, a you know a content management system to manage your website. So that's how I look at it you know I don't really I know some people like to design their site why not just design your site on the WordPress and then you know keep it that way and build pages off of WordPress 
Um, I like to have more control over my HTML and CSS and not really have to deal uh, around the, the PHP content and the PHP code that you have to when you're, when you're working within uh, WordPress. So um, that's my thing. I like to keep it simple. I say keep it simple, do static, simple websites, and then install a WordPress blog um, you know, and attach it to that site. All right. I know um, in other videos, what I'll try to do is I'll try to uh, put to put together put together a video that talks about how to uh, an overview on how to actually update and edit a WordPress theme so that you can get an idea on how how to do that. All right. So hopefully um, you got a little bit from this video. Thanks for watching. Catch me in the next video. All right. We'll talk soon. Bye.